Every year, FirstLink helps connect tens of thousands of people to resources, offering a variety of services and assistance for all of life's challenges. In celebration of National Information and Referral Day, we wanted to share just how easy it is to access information on valuable resources in your community. FirstLink maintains a vast resource database, listing programs across the entire state of North Dakota and Clay County, Minnesota. Our trained call specialists are available by phone 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to help you navigate any and all resources that could be of assistance in your unique situation. If you're looking for resources, you can simply dial 211 to reach FirstLink. If you don't prefer speaking on the phone, you can text us instead. To reach FirstLink by text, simply send your zip code to 898-211. But that's not all. With the generous support of the Dakota Medical Foundation, FirstLink has made our resource database available online. Yes, you can access the exact same information that our call specialists have and find resources on your own time by simply visiting myfirstlink.org. When you have reached FirstLink's website, you will see a large block that says Community Directory. This is where you want to click to search for resources. Doing so will open up a new tab, and at the top of this tab, you will see some categories to help you find exactly what you're looking for. However, before you start searching with these categories, you'll want to scroll down slightly to this box that says Keyword Search. Here, you can either enter in a keyword for what you're looking for instead of using the categories above, but most importantly, you can input a location for where you are searching for. For this demonstration, I'm going to type in Fargo, North Dakota. Now it is very important that after typing in the city, you wait for a moment for the auto suggest to show you options to select from. If you just search for Fargo without selecting the actual dropdown, you won't get accurate results. So now that I've input Fargo, into my serving box, I can now scroll back up to these categories to start drilling down exactly what it is that I'm looking for, or again, I can just place a keyword in this box and hit search. Today, I'm going to use these categories. I'm looking for some emergency food assistance. So I'm going to select the category that says food, and then you will see that it drills down some more specific options, such as emergency food. After selecting this, I have a few more options to drill down to, food pantries, food vouchers, or baby food and formula. For me, I'm going to be looking for food pantries. Once the search results load, you will see that there are some options to filter down search results based off of payment accepted or telehealth. These will primarily be used if you're looking for physical or mental health care, and you need to drill down by what insurance provider you have, or if you need to access these services through telehealth. I don't need to use any of those filters for my food pantry search, so I'm gonna go right past them. As you can see on the left side, I'm presented with the programs that have come up with my search. And on the right side, I'm given a map that if I zoom out a little bit, I can see is of the Fargo area. On this map, the green dots resemble how many resources are in that space. A red dot indicates an exact service. So for example, you can see there's a four green dot here. And if I click on that, it'll kind of get closer and show me this is an exact resource. And here at this intersection, there's three more. On the red dot, this number corresponds with the number next to the program in the search results. So if you're looking for an area that you live in, you can use these to find those resources that are closest to you. Number seven, we'll go down number seven here, would be the Mert Armstrong Recovery Center. As you can see, there are a few different ones across all of Fargo, so I'm gonna start by just opening up a few and checking them out. I'll open up all of it Lutheran Church Food Pantry. In a new tab, I'm gonna be given more specific information for that food pantry that I selected. You can see at the top, I'm given a brief description, and then on the bottom, I have information that's broken into three sections. Location information, which will have the address, 
mailing address, and then information such as if it's located on a bus stop. In the middle section, I have contact information, which includes the hours of operation, and then a general phone number, email, and even a website that I could visit to learn more. And on the right side, perhaps the most important, is the program information. This will include specific details that will help me determine if I'm eligible for this service, if there are any fees associated, how I can apply or take advantage of these services, and if I need to provide any documentation, such as a driver's license or proof of address. For some organizations or programs, there's even more information, like holidays that they observe, where you can anticipate that services will not be provided, and if they accept donations or have volunteer opportunities available. At the very top of the resource page, I have a Make PDF button that, when pressed, will simply create a link to download that information in a PDF format. This is great if I want to save it for later or send to a friend. After I've found the resources I'm looking for, I can scroll back up and type in a new keyword to start a new search, or I can select the guided search button to be given those same categories I saw on the first page. And back on the searching page, if I scroll down to the left of the keyword search, we also have some information such as instructions to help you use the search tool, a reminder for how to reach First Link by telephone, and then of course, if we are missing a program or organization that should be listed in our resource database, there is an option to fill out a brief intake form with information about that service so that our database team can work on getting it into the resource directory for the next person who might need that information. So as you can see, whether by phone, text, or searching on your own at myfirstlink.org, FirstLink makes accessing resources easy.